This is DMG and in this video we are going to be talking about trees. Now we're not trying to make super realistic trees, we are making trees that are going to be functional. So normally you would use a 2.5D so you would represent trees with the little stumps that we made in the last video. So this just represents a tree, you just don't have the rest of the tree. But sometimes you do need to have enemies and things like that in the actual tree and that's what this is for. going to do three-dimensional functional trees. They're not very representative. They're not supposed to be hyper-realistic. So if you're enjoying these videos, consider supporting me on my store, the DMG info forward slash store. Every purchase helps financially support this channel and to keep it growing and expanding. If you're interested in RPG storytelling, traps, world building, etc., check out my channel 70 system. That's youtube.com forward slash 70 system. And of course, if you like this video, like button and subscribe. And so we're going to pick up the stump that we created in video 123. And now we're going to go two ways. We're going to create the vertical tree and we're just going to create the top of a stump. So you're going to grab a toilet roll because, you know, it's this channel and we use toilet rolls and cardboard and crap you find lying around your house. So mark off one inch segments and cut off two one inch pieces and hold on to the two inch piece. We're going to use that later. So one of the one inch pieces, grab it and cut the ring in one point. Just one point. That's all you need to do. Then dry fit it. F dry fit it. Dry, dry, dry fit it. Dry fit it inside the stump and pull it out and hold it in place where you, so you can mark it with a marker where you need to um, fold it to and then hot glue on the inside and stick it down. Once that is cured, hot glue on one edge and stick that to some cardstock. Once that is cured, then you cut that out and you have created the plug that is going to be the rest of the stump. But we'll get back to Stumpy in just a moment. That's Stumpy. Now, grab the toilet roll, another one, and slice down one side. Try and keep it straight, will you? And we're going to grab that two inch one we talked about earlier and uh, dry fit that in the bottom. So, um, and mark where the fold is so that the, the little two inch piece is fitting nice and snug inside. And then taper it to the other side of the large toilet roll. Then, once you've marked that, hot glue on the side that's going to be underneath the flap and then hold it in place until the hot, cure, hot glue cures. So that's going to create this tapered trunk and you're going to get these little wing things at the bottom just chop that off. So as you can see that will just fall down without this little piece stuck in the bottom. So again hot glue on the inside and come on hot glue, hot glue and then stick the little other piece inside the bottom and that's going to help us just to anchor it inside the stump like that. See? Nice and easy. And of course because we now have the stump as the base where the general sort of knocks that you'd get on the table is not going to send everything super flying, it's not going to fall over. But I'm sure the players will find some way to do it anyway. Of course if you don't want to have the 3D elements Rather just stick to the stumps themselves because otherwise you will have things knocked out all over the show. Then we're going to grab the toilet roll again and just do four single circles and two doubles. Uh, we're not going to use all of these, but you can just do this um, as, as you wish. Cut them out. We're going to do like a cloud motif with a marker around it. So give some space around it. And now we're going to attach these cloudy things to the stump. So you're going to have to just cut out a little bit of a curve so that it will fit to the side of the stump. Uh, place some hot glue on the side at an appropriate level up and hold it there until it cures. Do the same thing with smaller ones. Basically, you can do this as you wish. You do not have to do it exactly the way I've done it. But, of course, try to keep the spaces open so that there is space for miniatures, 
minis to stand. So you should have a mini handy uh, to check that everything's working. Then grab some matchsticks and we're going to create struts. Now, of course, people got struts. I thought it was a tree. Yes, of course, it's branches. Just call it struts because engineering wise, that's probably what they're called. I don't know. I'm not an engineer. You have to ask Wylock. I'm pretty sure he is an engineer. Anyway, hot glue and stick it down. And these are just going to be forming the branches. But of course, they don't look a little bit too much like two by fours. And um, yeah, as we were talking about the mini, the mini will stand on here. And it's not going to collapse now because we have it reinforced. So then with some hot glue, um, I'm shaking a bit because of the meds I've been on. Uh, hot glue on the top and applying some of the single leaf platforms, we'll call them. Um, hot glue on there and stick those down to form the top of the can canopy, but we're going to go a step further. And then add all the struts, aka branches, into the spots in order to hold it up. So now I grab these horrible plastic plants from Ikea. It was uh, probably all of $4 for this huge plastic plant. This is one piece. I've got about 40 pieces out of it. And I'm just going to stick that on the top just for some effect. Uh, you, This one has a hole in it, so I'm just going to reinforce it by sticking a um, matchstick into there, poking a hole through there with a compass. You can use an awl or something, whatever you like. Um, but uh, because it's just going to fall on through there if I just stick the um, stick the matchstick in we're just going to cut the matchstick in half stick it down on one side of the protruding matchstick from the base of this plastic plant and do again on all four sides of that matchstick so when it's stuck in the hole it will basically anchor it in there um, yeah this got a bit messy so you know pre-planning was not done at all. So anyway, then hot glue the branches and using the tin foil left over from the last video, that's why we created so much of it, we're now going to wrap it around the struts so that they actually start to look more like proper branches. So just twist it on around there. It's still going to look like, dude, it looks like a 2x4 with some, you know, stuff wrapped around it. Well, just apply some hot glue. It's all going to merge. It's all going to merge once you paint. Then we're going to do the texturing where we basically just grab the hot glue gun and run it up and down while having little bits of hot glue coming out and apply the bark texture to the trunk of the tree. Be sure to keep the little segment that goes into the stump clean so that you do not have that you know, not fitting into your stump anymore. And then around the edges of the leaf pads, the leaf platforms, just hot glue around the edges there and then texture on the leaves themselves. Then you just black bomb the entire thing with uh, black spray paint as in video three. And then we're going to do the same color motif we did in the trunk video, the stump video, sorry. We're just going to apply brown paint along the... Um, vertically so just keep running vertically and on the stump we're just going to do a little bit of a swirl and we can get back to the stump then we're going to hit it with some yellow while it is still wet um, don't go overboard with the yellow it's just you want to sort of kind of just lick it with the paint that's all you really want to do and then with the leaves you're just going to you don't even need to clean your brush it's better if it's still got some brown and yellow and stuff on it just go around the edges towards the middle but leave some of the black showing through for that the the shaded interior of the tree and then we're going to get a little bit of white and mix it into the dirty brush and do a swirl on the stump plug that yeah it's a little bit out of focus sorry about that and there it is just bloom, into the stump base and there you go yeah, completely stump anyway back to the rest of the painting and now of course we're going to grab that white paint and continue on to complete the tree by hitting all the textures with a kiss of white. And this is what the tree looks like in the end. Now that is quite functional. Those are functional three-dimensional trees that you can put onto the tree stumps we did in the last video. 
So thank you for joining me and I will see you in the next video when we can do, well, that's a secret. <laughs>